Hello kids Welcome back to our science class with teacher Ain In science process skills You will learn observing, classifying, measuring, and using numbers Making inferences, predicting, and communicating we have learned about observing and classifying. Today, we are going to learn about measuring and using numbers. What is measuring and using numbers? Measuring is a skill to make observations using numbers and standard unit tools. Now, Let's take your science textbook. We have to refer page 6. Teacher, how do we record the time of our run? We can use a digital stopwatch. This is digital stopwatch. How do we use it? There are few steps to use digital stopwatch. Step 1. Push this button to reset the time to 0. Okay, 0. Step 2. Push this button to start recording the time. Step 3. Push this button again to stop recording so that you can take the reading now this is the reading okay this is minute reading and this is seconds reading what is the actual time taken on its digital stopwatch the time taken is 3 minutes and 59 Point two nine seconds. Here there are few standard tools you should know, which are body weighing scale, foot weighing scale, beaker, stopwatch, digital stopwatch, ruler, soft measuring tape, and measuring tape. Ruler measuring tape and soft measuring tape are used to measure length of object. The standard unit is centimeter (cm). Body weighing scale is used to measure the body weight. The standard unit is kilogram (kg). Food weighing scale is used to measure the weight of object and food. The standard units are gram, g, and kilogram, kg. Now we have stopwatch. Stopwatch are used to measure the time. The standard unit is second. Beaker is used to measure the volume of liquid. The standard unit is milliliter (ml). Now, how do we measure the length correctly? You can also refer this activity in your Textbook page 7. Now let's see the steps. Step 1 Place the end of an object in line with the zero mark. This is zero mark. Okay? Next, step 2 The correct position of the eyes is at the tip. This is the correct position of eye. Okay? 
Now, the correct length measurement is 9 cm or 9 cm. Now, let's measure the length of the pencil below. Okay, so we have to remember the steps. First, place the end of pencil in line with zero mark. Okay, next, make sure the position of eyes as the tick. Okay, this is the correct position of eyes. So, the measurement of the pencil is 14 cm or 40 cm. Now, we want to do exercise. Let's take your science activity book. You have to do page 4. Before you start to do the exercise, I want you to write the date first. Okay. Observe each situation below. Name the tools and the standard unit of measurement using the measure correctly. Okay. These are the provided answers. You have to choose the answers and write it in the correct box. Okay. You have to refer the situation, then you have to decide what is the measuring tool is used and also what is the standard unit of measurement. Then you do number two and number three. Now, you have to do page five also. Measure the length of the following objects using the correct tool and standard unit of measurement. You have scissor, rubber, sharpener and pencil then you record the measurement in this table you have to write the name of each object and then write the length of object okay next number two what is the tool used to measure the length of the objects above so you have to decide what is the standard tool you use to measure all these objects? Ah, the answer is ruler. Ruler. Why did you use that tool? Ah, and then I want to know your answer. Okay. For online worksheet, you have to do two parts which are Part A and Part B. Part A, you have to match the picture with the correct function. Then Part B, you have to take the reading. Okay, so that's all for today. See you again. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.